Hi guys, so I'm going to show you a fix I found from my uh, issue I had here. Um, I have a WD Passport 4 terabyte. Um, it's a standard, has a USB 3.0. Anyways, obviously this is empty now because I have it out troubleshooting. But um, the issue was I plug in the blue cord it came with into my computer and the light right here uh, that usually flashes, it's super bright. Um, it wasn't flashing at all and I the drive wasn't showing up or it'd show up for a second. I'd wiggle the cord and uh, it'd show up for a second and I'd maybe have to hold the cord there to get data to transfer. So it just it obviously was not doing what it needed to do. So what I did is I tore it apart. Um, I fixed it. it. has this thing here. It's called a wedge. I just ran it around the perimeter of this. Um, it just has four, four sides. You kind of run around the perimeter there and then you can get it on uh, these four corners. So you kind of just pop up the two corners here and then it's uh, not an issue. Then your drive is going to be stuck down in here. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, just a second. The drive's going to be stuck down in there kind of like uh, it's going to be down and you'll kind of just pull the edges apart and you can drop the drive right out. Anyways, uh, the issue here is I found it on this board is uh, right here. I'll show you on my screen. Uh, if I can find it again. Right there. See? So it's a resistor 000, which means it's basically just a jumper. It's not even doing anything. What happened there is mine didn't get soldered very well. So when I press down on that resistor, the light comes back and um, that should be the fix there. So I'll show you on the board where it's at. Obviously you can see it zoomed in here. But on the board here, it's right here, let me get my tweezers. So the part that's bad, or the part, it's not necessarily bad, it just needs to be heated up with solder a little bit, is right here. That's the issue part right there. So that just needs to be re-soldered, or you could remove it, or just make a solder bridge all the way across it. All this is a jumper. Triple zero is means it's just a dead short. That's all it's meant to be. So how this comes off the back of here, um, let me move you back over. I just have a little iFixit kit. They're not sponsoring or anything, but that's just what I used because um, they have a nice bunch of little bits here. Is It says a T5 is what I use. It's kind of one of the star heads there. So just put that in your screwdriver and it had a bunch of screws on the back here that came off. So it's kind of like this. You see there's a little plug there and there's also a little contact pad there. Basically, it looks like this when you pull it out with a bunch of with uh, five screws in it and you just unscrew all five screws there and then you can pop this right off it kind of almost feels like you're gonna break it pulling it off but it's just this plug right here you can see that plug it just goes right in there so you just pop it off and then we're gonna go work on this right now to go fix it so bring it over to my solder station here I have mine set for 371 I usually have 375 it doesn't really matter just need to get it hot enough to do it so I'll try to hold it here and show you what I'm doing, but if it doesn't work out, I might just show, cut it and show you later. So I just added a little solder on each side there. Should be good to go. Alright, let's see if this thing works here. Alright, so let's try it here. Plug her in. The light going on here. And there we go. So this is my WD, I have a password protected, so there we go, it's back. And it's light. And now, when I wiggle it, it isn't evil anymore. There you go. So yeah, just pop the back off. Super simple. Obviously, use a smaller tip soldering iron than I did. I was just lazy. But yeah, don't have to throw it away. Have a good one.